yo what's going on guys we're back again with another tutorial in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to achieve this cool intro effect using final cut pro 10 without any plugins let's go you have your video on your timeline go to where you want the intro effect to start from make a freeze frame over there by pressing shift h now drag this side to how long you want the intro to last somewhere here will be okay for this tutorial make a cut over here delete this part now make a duplicate of this clip command R to bring the red time editor out drag this side to where the freeze frame starts and this side to where it ends now disable the down video click on the top video go to effect section box go under mask choose draw mask drag and drop on top of the clip now let's draw a mask around her and for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna be fast and not accurate but when you're doing this just take your time to really get it out nicely now we have her mask out go to the feather side change it to somewhere negative four negative five then go back to the down clip and this time around enable the down clip then go to your generator side go under solids and choose custom drag it in the middle of the two clips make a cut at where it ends click on the customs that we just dropped down here and this time around go back to your effect section box and then choose draw mask drag it on top of the custom that we just dropped down there now this is what you do let's make this side small so we can see exactly what we're doing make a triangle shape like this you can play around it to really get it in a nice way let's do something like this and this yeah now go to this side change the color to the color that you want let's go to red close this side now make a duplicate of the custom solids that we drop down here click on the down one go back to this side and this time around change the color to white Then go to your video inspector section, go under transform, and we'll change the transform to 120%. So now you can see the white really popping out from the background of the first custom that we made. Now we can drag this side and get it in a nice way. So somewhere here will be okay. Now go back to your generator side, choose titles, and then we'll choose basic title from this side drag it on top of the first solid that we drop down there make a cut where it ends delete this part then click on the title and write what you want to write let's say subscribe let's drag it this side change it to bold and then the size let's go somewhere yeah 130 will be okay drag it this side now make a compound clip of the titles and then two custom solids that we have let's make it solids Now click on the compound clip we just made. Go to the first frame, make a keyframe under position. Go five frames forward. Make another keyframe under position. Now go to the last frame. Make a keyframe under position again. Then go back five frames. Make another keyframe over there. Now we'll go back to the first keyframe that we made. 
Now go to the x-axis, drag it to the compound clip disappear from the screen to your left side. So we go more, we go more. So somewhere here will be okay. Now when you go back to the next keyframe, it will go back to where it already started from. Then go to your last keyframe, drag it this time around to your right side on the X axis till it disappears on the screen. So we go more. Now let's see what we have. Now to make this effect really so, go to the compound clip that we made. Go under the effect section box. Go under blur and choose directional blur. Drag and drop it on top of the compound clip we have. Now we're gonna repeat the same keyframes we made. So let's go to the first frame, make a keyframe over there, go five frames forward, make a keyframe over there, go to the last one, make a keyframe over there, and then go back five frames, make a keyframe over there too. Now we'll go back to the first keyframe, change the amount to 600 or 700, go to the next keyframe, change it to zero. Then go to the next keyframe, we change it to zero. And then to the last keyframe, change it back to 600. Now let's wait for it to render and see how it looks like. So there you go guys, if you really learned something from this today and enjoy watching this, I would really appreciate it if you drop your comments down in the comment section box below. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it really means a lot to me. As always, my name is Joey, stay safe out there, peace!